this is Lisa, Happy Place Creations, and I hope you all are having a great day. I'm going to show you how I, I'm, I'm working on a project right now it's with the Graphic 45 Mother Goose paper, and um, I'm working with a paper bag album. Uh, I'm going to show you really quick how I do my paper bags. Um, you know, these are just the regular, uh, I think they're pack-on. P-A-C-O-N. I get them off of Amazon. They're usually 11 by 6 and I cut this down to 10 by 6. Um, now you got to remember that paper bags are inherently not square and nothing matches. Like you've got these two pieces of paper are, you know, these two sides do not match. Um, you can see this is uh, off if, you know, it's not matching. So you just got to work your paper to make it square. Um, another thing, uh, I'm, I'm going to use these papers with a hidden hinge, and having uh, these pieces here uh, just don't work for that. Um, it, they just get in the way, especially when I pull this back, because I'm not using them as pockets. A lot of people use these as pockets, and um, I don't. Um, it makes it just too, uh, too bulky for me. So I push this down like this, I flip this over, open this up, and I make sure that this little, this little, all the little bits of paper and everything, and I open this up, I hope you can see this, I open it up and I pull it back, and I'm going to get this, I'm looking for a nice crisp point. And this one is going to be a little funky here. Um, pull this back. And I just want to pull it back so I get a nice crisp corner. There we go. And make sure everything lays down. And seal that. And then I just am going to leave this here and close the bag up around it. I've got a little bundle here. I want it to be as smooth as possible. Okay, so that's how I do my paper bags. And um, so that here, this Kath, for Kathy Horta's um, hidden hinge system, now I've got the entire surface that I can close up onto the hinge. Okay, so that's how I do my bags. Then um, I cover, now I, I, I still cut, this is a, again 10 by 6, so I cut my pages 10 by 6 and I just work with it. Um, this has got a little bit of the yellow showing, you know, I'm fine with that. It's a paper bag album. Here is my hidden hinge side and um, this. So I don't know if you can see this, but the paper is slightly off the end of the paper bag on this side but when I put this down, it matches up perfectly. And that's what I do. I take the paper and make it match up on both sides. Um, this is the inside. This is the business end. I'm not worried if I have a little yellow. It just adds a little interest to it. Okay, now down here, um, I didn't match it up. Uh, this is where the the unevenness is, but I did cut this uh, 6 by 10, so we're just working with it. Um, but I am putting a pocket, which is what I usually do when I don't have something that works out, and that pocket, as you can see, is going to come down and cover the entire piece of yellow. Um, so um, this piece is 6.5 by three and one eighth. I did use about a quarter of an inch on both sides. I score my page, um, like I, if I'm doing a quarter of an inch, I score it, but then I will fold one side, and of course I'm going to match up with the edge over here. I fold one side, and I match it up with what I want there. Then I take this side, and I just give it a a little bit of a fold and I just make sure it's going to work for me before I burnish my edges. Okay, um, here's some of these little 
stars that I got, which I thought were just so stinking cute, especially on this paper. So anyway, so uh, now I'm going to um, attach this. And again, uh, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive is, is uh, my go-to adhesive. And I'm just going to put... Now, one thing I didn't do, which um, I always do, is my edges. So we're going to get that done just... makes it so much nicer and I also didn't clip these just so they don't stick up quite so much and get in the way of everything um, it helps when you're putting if you're putting uh, tags and stuff down that those are out of the way and I'll go ahead and do this sometimes I'll do it while I'm putting it down other times I'll pop it up off of this and um, Okay, so here we go. We're going to place this down. And again, I'm getting it down to the bag, matching it up with this paper here, and making sure that I'm not making it too much longer. Let's see. Pull it back up. Sorry, guys. It's trial and error. I'm going to... I don't want to make it a whole lot longer than it already is. There we go. I might have to put some more glue on that. But Now at the same time, when you are gluing this stuff down, you want to make sure that you're not gluing your bag closed because you are going off the top piece that you're working on. I did get some glue there. And I always like to keep a rag in fact, I need to get a clean one. I was doing some mixed media last night and got this pretty dirty. Um, so you want to make sure you get the glue off of there so it doesn't stick. You don't close your bag down because then it's not really going to be a paper bag album. Uh, I also fussy cut out this little fella. And I just thought he was so cute. And I'm going to stick him just right up here in the corner. Just He's just sleeping away. Um... Just gonna start in the center in case you get a glob. Get a, get this when they start uh, getting down to the end. They start getting temperamental. These glue uh, bottles of glue here. So I'm gonna stick him right up here. There we go get myself a clean towel here. I like to make sure I get that glue pushed around, but I'm also very careful that I'm not going to be pushing and tearing some of my little fussy cutting out. So, yeah, there. I'm happy with that. Okay, um, and I'll be adding some tags and stuff to this, but um, this is basically the side because I, I wanted a good place for good pictures. This is the main focus of this album. It's having picture space. Um, so I'm going to flip it over. Now again, this is the hidden hinge side. Um, so I've got uh, my basic page. Now this is some washi tape. Um, I wanted to add a little bit of color on this besides what I'm going to be doing on it. Um, I got this washi tape dispenser from Michaels. Uh, it's also on sale. And there were some really, you know, there were all different pastels. This was the um, brights, I think. Um, this tends to be most of the colors I work with. And I don't use a lot of washi tape, but I, I tend to stick with the just the plain ones. Um, but I like the thin. I hadn't seen the thin, really. Um, okay, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and this one, I'm going to have this, so there's going to be a flap on this one, okay, so it'll, you know, open up like this, 
All right. Um, let's see what I do. Oh, put everything on my stuff here. Okay, so when you, this is, I always create both sides before I glue anything on because I want to make sure that I'm going to, if I want to add a flap, if I want to do whatever. Now, with this, I can also add the flap to this if I'd like. I could either add the flap just to this or I can put it to the inside of the bag. Anytime I add a flap, I like to try and use the bag. Main reason being, this is going to strengthen this area to me. It does. So that's what I'm going to do. So this one I'm going to, let's see, do I want to do a magnet? Do I want to do a magnet? Um, well, I certainly can do a magnet. Let's see, where would I do a magnet? Okay, I can plan, because this was going to go here, I can plan on putting a magnet with a Oh, I can put it right underneath his hat. Okay, um, so I'm going to do a magnet. So, um, I'm going to be having these on my Etsy. Um, these are metal. They are very thin. I don't know. I'm hoping you can see this. They are very thin. Um, and I have just got to kind of figure out here real quick where this is going to be so that I can close things up. Yeah, so I'm going to put it right here. So again, just the Scotch Dry works on there. These Paco bags are, uh, almost have the quality of, I don't know, of a, what do you call that? Oh, that stuff that you can push this, put that glue around in there a little bit. Um, oh gosh, what do you call that stuff? Uh, uh huh. I do this all the time. Let me double check. Now, as you can see, this does not match. This is the outside of the bag, so I'm going to match everything to this line and not going to worry too much about that. And uh, so this is going to go right up, butt up right up against that. I'm going to make sure I cover the most of the top. I'm not sure you're getting all this in. There we go. Um, and not going to worry about the bottom. Just I, I just am not going to worry about it. Um, it is what it is. I mean, you can go and try and cut your paper crooked to fit on there. Um, but I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, I, I can do something down there that will take your eye away from it. <clears throat> um, I might put a little corner piece or something like that. We'll, we'll see. Um, I could even come and do this across the bottom. I just have to see what I'm going to do. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, and since this is um, not hanging off, or I'm not going to take the chance of sealing the bag because this matches right to this one, I'm, I'm just going to glue it. Put all my glue on here. So, I hate covering up all these lovely pieces, but I did buy a couple extra of uh, these pages so that... Um, Okay, so I have my metal piece there for my magnet. I triple check that I'm facing the right way and the bag is on the top because I don't know how many times <laughs> I have ta glued things down and found out that I had the bag upside down. Okay, again, I'm going to match up the outside edge and the top. 
outside edge and the top. Okay, and we got and if I ever have any hanging over that I'm just really not happy with, just get your scissors and cut them puppies off. Okay, got a little bit of glue on the end here, so I'm just going to wipe it and then just give this a good burnish down. Okay, make sure I'm not gluing my bag. Good. All right, not gluing my bag on this side either. Nope, we're good. Okay. So, now, um, I'm going to glue this down to here. Again, another reason why I didn't really worry about this side. I'm going to glue this down. And as you can see, it pretty much follows the line of my paper and not the line of my bag. Again, not really worried about it. It's a paper bag. Uh, this is five and a half by ten, and then this is a half inch score line. Um, with this, I'm probably going to use my uh, sequine tape or score tape, whatever you want to call it. And um, eh, this is half inch. Let me get my quarter inch. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not really worried about where I put it because. Um, you're not really gonna, it's not really gonna matter. It's gonna be sealed in the, um, in the book. So, burnish that down real well. Take it off. Now, if you ever have any left over, it's double sticky tape. Just fold it over on itself. No worries. And remember, guys, this is just paper. It's just paper. Um, you know, I mean, some of it is more expensive than others, but it is just paper. So I want to line this up best I can without putting it right on the fold, or it's not going to fold very nicely. So I'm sorry if I'm out of camera. I'm just gotta, I gotta be able to see this. And with these glasses of mine, well, I think I've gone over that with you guys already. Yep. Oh no. Okay, let's see. This. And this is not one of my better. Uh, there we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to give it a quick burnish, flip it over, and burnish this. Make sure it's got a good seal on it. Okay, so you see, I've still got this for hidden hinge. It's still going to work just perfectly for me. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do here on the inside, uh, I created this fence line. I did uh, Tim Holtz uh, fence. Um, and I did it once and then I did it again. So I do have this little break in it. Uh, and then I just did all kinds of coloring and things like that. So um, not all that worried about it. Gonna clip those little ends off. Um, this didn't get all of the color. Not really worried about that either. I think it kind of, I don't know, makes it look a little different. Um, so let's go ahead. I am going to also use this as part of a pocket. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Get this stuff over here so I don't lose it. So, um, so I do want to make sure that I get this glued down and I'm going to get this glued down. Um, and the rest of it I'm just going to glue across the bottom. Yeah, this was just a scrap piece of paper I had. Um, this part kind of taken care of. Make sure I don't uh, tear it. And I'm going to glue across the bottom. And this is when you're really going to want to have your uh, cloth because um, it's going to ooze. Alright, and I'm just going to basically use this as my line 
and I don't want to go, um, I want to kind of line this up on this end, so I'm just sliding it a little bit. There we go. Okay, get my cloth and make sure I'm getting this down very well and no glue coming out. Oh, I did very well. Okay. Alright, so now this is still open here where I can get my tag in. This is going to be my tag here. It's going to stick out a little bit on the top and I'm not worried about that because it's just going to add interest and I am going to put tags uh, down um, in my bags as well. So, um, now it's little boy blue, come blow your horn, the sheep's in the metal, the cow's in the corn. I wanted to cover this up, so I fussy cut out the little cow in the corn, and I thought, you know what, I don't care that it's different fence or anything, I just, uh, I think he's cute. I spent the time fussy cutting him, I'm going to use him. So I'm just going to put uh, a little bit of glue on this, and this side is all um, glued down, so I'm just kind of gluing the bottoms. Uh, of him not really worrying too much about the top. So there's that. Nothing squishing out, so we're good there. Um, I fussy cut this out of another one, and I'm going to line them up. And I want it to be a little 3D on there, so I'm going to put a pop dot in the center and then glue it down. And the pop dot will kind of, or several pop dots, if I can grab them here, um, will help. I think these are uh, the stamping up pop dots. It will help to create a little bit of a 3D effect, um, but still allow me to match up the ends. And I'm not going to glue the very top, but I'm going to match up his little body um, as best I can and glue that down and then the pop dots and it'll just kind of give it a that'll give it a little bit of a 3d effect okay and so there's that and that and then I'm just going to kind of give myself a little bit of glue and I'm actually not putting as much as it looks because I'm spreading it out and thinning it out. I'm not really squeezing on the bottle at all. Um, a little bit up the side here. Okay. So, we're going to match his body up first. And push that down. And then push down the pop dots. Okay. I just let this quick dry because it dries pretty quick. Um, it grabs. I do have a little bit of oozing. So I'm just going to get that out of there. You want this, um, this mat, this cloth to be just ever so slightly damp. And um, that way it wipes it right out. But um, this just gives you a little bit of a, a 3D effect. It just pops it off the page. Um, I always like that. So there's that. And then um, I also cut out his hat. And I thought I would set that up on the fence post like he sat it up there while he was taking a nap. Um, see which way I like it better. I think I like this way better. And we'll just put it... Yeah, so we're just going to tack that down. Oh, let's just put it on the fence post here. Take this out. Put a little piece in where it's not going to... Oh, there we go. Where it's not going to stick down. Oh, come on, guys. I know it's a little thick there. <laughs> there we go. I just got a little bit of protection there. And get that hanging the way I want it. There 
There we go. All right, and then the excess glue is off. Okay, so there's that. And then down here, I cut out this little frame. And then I cut out this little girl. Um, I think this is Mary Mary Quite Contrary. How does your garden grow? And so I'm going to put the frame and just kind of stick her like she's standing on the frame and, and coming out of it a little bit. I just thought that would be really cute. So on this one, because it's so tiny, I am going to use the Studio Multimedia Mat and just kind of, ooh, way too much, just kind of get the, because this works with, just like glue, I'm just getting that all over that, and going to place, oh, got a little excess, going to place it down, and got to find a finger that doesn't have glue, oh, wrong way, I have just a little bit uh, that was not cut just right, and, um, oop, I think I waited too long. So I'm going to, this little piece right here just didn't get, um, well, I think there was something I had to cut out, uh, one of my fussy cuttings. So I'm using that at the bottom because her little rake is going to cover it. So I'm just going to get this on here because this will get in all of the little crevices and stuff and then I'm going to put her little foot right on top of that and stick her down make sure that all of that sticks down There we go. Okay, get this closed up here. Now, okay, so we have, this is not the easiest um, thing, but, but I think it's cute. Okay, so then this is going to close up, and I have a fence that I'm going to put right here. So it's going to line up with this fence, and I'm going to hide my magnet behind it. And I think, I'm pretty sure I have a magnet here. Now these are um, super uh, neodymium magnets. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, it's not going to hide it completely, so I will put something uh, over that. But, uh, see, there's my, it, it's a hanging. Um, 